we're moving on to scenario eight, problems 19, 20, and 21. And we'll just read this together. And it says, Andrew owns his land in 100% fee simple interest in a 100 acre tract of land. So here we have 100% fee simple in a 100 acre tract of land. He sells, let's see, 100%. 100% of all the mineral rights together with rights of ingress and egress. That means the right to come onto the property and to go off of the property to XYZ company. But he reserves a non-executive mineral interest equal to 1% of 8 eighths proportionally reduced in the event the acreage is included in a unit through any subsequently granted lease. Then XYZ grants a lease to Oil Co. and retains a one quarter royalty interest. So we want to know what the net acres are, what the gross acres are, and what should be in the lease purchase report. Well, we know that the gross acres um, are 100 acres, because that's specified right here, 100 acres. And the net acres we also know is going to be 100 acres because um, there's no reduction in his interest. Now he did sell this 100% interest uh, of all the mineral rights to this XYZ company. And then he also granted a lease to that. And then he grants a lease to Oil Co. So what this... Um, what this is, this non-executive mineral interest, it's let's say someone has a um, piece of property. Let's say they have an interest in the Northwest Quarter and they sell their minerals, but they keep this non-executive mineral interest. And in this case, it would be 1%. So, They've sold their minerals to XYZ Company. So XYZ Company now owns the minerals. But if ever there is a lease on this property, the owner, Andrew, here is basically saying, hey, whatever fraction is on that lease, I get 1% of it, as long as it's included in a unit. So this is more complicated language that is really not relevant to our question of what is Oil Co's net acres leased and what is their gross acres leased. Because uh, XYZ grants a lease to Oil Co and retains a one quarter royalty interest. So in this case, XYZ is the, um, the lessor and Oil Co is the lessee. So XYZ's interest is going to be 100% of the 100 acre tract in the 100% fee simple. So that is actually gonna be what um, Oil Co's net, uh, net acres are. Um, and then the gross acres are the same, 100 gross acres. And in the LPR, the broker should report the lessor's mineral interest is, and in this case, the lessor is XYZ Company, and their mineral interest would be 100%. So if we're looking at the um, problems, question number 19 is going to be A, 100 net acres. Oil Co. gross acres is also going to be A, 100 gross acres. And then the LPR is also going to show this as a 100% um, a mineral interest. And so that is going to be answer A. I've got a lot of A's going here. But the thing I want you to recognize is what happened is Andrew starts off with the land and then he conveys his land to XYZ. So Andrew conveys all to XYZ. And then XYZ conveys or rather leases to Oil Co. Keeping a, what was it? A one quarter royalty interest. Now, Andrew kept this non-participating royalty interest, 
that means if ever there is production, he's going to get, and, and this isn't a unit, he's going to get 1% of this one quarter interest. But as far as gross acres, it doesn't really make a difference. It doesn't make any, it doesn't have any impact. So that is scenario eight, problem 19, 20, and 21. Now let's move on to problem, uh, I'm sorry, scenario nine.